We made the journey earlier on today, and it was interesting to see along the roads, basically um, pretty clear access, but we did pass a Ukrainian military convoy that appeared to have been targeted by the air. You can see the video now there, um, still smoke billowing. There were firefighters on the scene trying to put out the fires. I think one of the trucks was probably a fuel truck, but the one in front was uh, a multi a multi rocket launcher. And what's interesting about this is it's showing that the Russians are now sort of striking targets opportunistically as they as and when they can. We did see at least one Ukrainian soldier who was obviously killed uh, in that attack. And it really goes to show you just how difficult this is for for the Ukrainians with no air defense uh, to move weaponry around effectively uh, without being targeted. And obviously their ability to do that is being significantly diminished. We also saw as we got closer to the city a large group of civil defense volunteers, dozens of them standing there on the highway with a huge pile of tires. And one can only assume uh, that the intention is if and when Russian forces start to move along that road towards the capital, that they attempt will attempt to block that uh, by setting fire to those tires. But obviously, um, burning tires and civil defense volunteers is, is not really a match for the sophistication of the Russian military. Uh, we know that they're already at an air base just on the outskirts of Kiev that my colleague Matthew Chance went and visited yesterday. Russian troops were already there. And there is a sense that even though they are facing quite a bit of resistance from the Ukrainian military, that they are pressing in from multiple directions. Keep in mind, it goes without saying, this is a city of nearly three million people, Dana. So obviously, absolutely terrifying for people here as they wait to see what tonight will bring.